So let's get a reality check now on the economy from Chief Business Correspondent Rebecca Jarvis. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning to you, George. And we have to take a look at a handful of factors. First of all, the good news. The good news here is that unemployment is near historic lows, as you just heard from Mary there. You can see that in the pandemic peak, it was high before President Biden took office. The rate was 6.7%. Today, it is 3.4%. Most industries are also hiring, especially leisure and hospitality, professional and healthcare. They all added jobs in January, and there are two job openings now for every job seeker. Employers are raising wages to attract workers. Now, here's why maybe people aren't feeling as optimistic. This is the bad news. Once you factor in inflation, real wages are down 3.1% from a year ago, and that is because families are paying about $317 more every month on the same goods and services as they did a year ago. And that inflation isn't just because of goods like your groceries, but services. This is what the Fed calls super core inflation costs like school lunches. Those are up 27%. Sports tickets up 49%. Household appliance repair costs up 22% in just the last three months, George. So Rebecca, we saw in the poll 41% of Americans think they're worse off. But bottom line, where, what does the data show about Americans' financial health? So it's sort of a mixed picture when you look at this question, George, because on the one hand, Americans are accumulating more credit card debt. But something that we have heard from a number of credit card companies and banks is that customers are in good standing overall. We've seen credit scores go up since October of 2019 when they were 708. Today, the average is 716. That means people are smarter. They are doing more with their money and being smarter about it. And this came up in your interview yesterday with the Treasury Secretary, the question about recession, it keeps getting pushed out. A lot of people thought we'd see one at the end of last year. It's been pushed out farther and farther into this year, and some say we won't even see it. Yeah, George. the economy has been resilient. Rebecca, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.